Hello, my name is Vicki Rios, and this is my submission for the 2016 Congressional App Challenge. My app is called Simple Sign, and the reason that I made this app is to teach people sign language. It's actually inspired by my younger sister, who's deaf. Uh, this sign should be downloaded by anyone that's looking to learn uh, American Sign Language. So this is what the front page looks like. It's split up into two columns. This first section here is for learning. So if you want to learn a category of signs, you know, basic signs, alphabet, school signs, you can do that. And then once you're done learning it, you can take a quiz. So I'm going to click on alphabet signs. And this is how uh, it should look for all of the sections. It's pretty simple. It's a photo and oh, the sign and what the sign means here. Uh, so you can look through all of this and practice your signs. Uh, I also added videos because sometimes the photos may not be enough, so it's for extra practice. And once you're done going over it, you can take the quiz. Um, here is what the quiz looks like. If you get it correct, um, it will tell you, and incorrect, it will also tell you. And once you're done taking it, it will tell you your percentage, so you can work on it and hopefully get 100%. Uh, the, the way that I made this was using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a jQuery plugin. I decided to do this, number one, because I know HTML best, so I can make it look uh, the best that I can, better, better than any other language, and with something like an app, the way things look as aesthetically is pretty important. So this simple clean look, um, I don't think I would be able to achieve if I were to use another platform. Also, HTML is used to make, uh, make web stuff. So instead of me writing code in MIT's App Inventor for Android or Xcode for iOS. This way I can make it and it can be accessed by either. It can be easily embedded into any app. And the more people that can access this app, the better. Uh, so yeah, here's the code. And the biggest challenge I face while making this is probably uh, adding the jQuery plugin and making that all fit in with the HTML. Uh, here's the code for that, uh, but I got it to work, so it's doing well. And also, for a future, in the future what I plan is to add more categories, of course, so people can learn more signs, and possibly add a camera sensor, a hand gesture recognition sensor that can detect where the fingers are and the hand is to see if you're doing your signs right. Uh, that way the app can be more engaging and more people would be interested in learning sign language. Uh, so that's all I have. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh,